Welcome all wonders in one sight, eternity shot in a span, summer in winter, day in night, heaven in earth, and God in man. Great little one whose all-embracing birth brings earth to heaven, stoops heaven to earth. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. You are very welcome to Holy Trinity Church Ockham for this online service as we celebrate Christmas. Christ, the light of the world, has come to dispel the darkness of our hearts. In his light, let us examine ourselves and confess our sin. God our Father, you sent your Son full of grace and truth. Forgive our failure to receive him. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus Christ, our Saviour, you were born in poverty and laid in a manger. Forgive our greed and our rejection of your ways. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Spirit of love, your servant Mary responded joyfully to your call. Forgive the hardness of our hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in eternal life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ in us, Christ with us, Christ around us, we bring to God all those things which are uppermost on our hearts this Christmas. Lord Jesus Christ, your birth at Bethlehem draws us to kneel in wonder at heaven touching earth. Accept our heartfelt praise as we worship you, our Saviour and our eternal God. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John Chapter 1, beginning to read at the first verse. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him. And without him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life. And the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world. And the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man but of God and the word became
became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May I speak in the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm not usually great at sending Christmas cards. Normally, at this time of year, there are so many things to do that in the last few days before Christmas, I realised that the Christmas cards I bought haven't been written and haven't been posted, and it's too late to do so. But this year, I decided to make up for it. This year, I decided to make it my business to send a Christmas card to every household in the parish. Because this has been such a tough year, and at difficult times like this, the small gestures matter. And I decided to go one step further and to get our own parish Christmas cards printed. The image I chose for that was of the beautiful new Christmas illumination which was donated to St John's Church in Banaslow by the Banaslow Town Team as part of their Christmas Lights project. If you haven't seen it, it's a beautiful Christmas candle, nine, ten foot high, standing on the steps of St John's Church outside the west door. You'll see it if you look up Dunwall Hill, passing the fair green there, it's glorious. Remember the excitement of the night we first lit it, and a small handful of us who had been involved in the project gathered with delight on our faces, looking at the glorious light of this candle. I knew right away that that was more than a Christmas decoration, that was a symbol of the light of Christ. Originally, that candle had been intended to go right on the very top of the church tower, looking down over the whole town. But it's so big, there's no way you could possibly get it up all the steps to the top of the tower and through the workings of the town clock. So the resourceful people in the church there came up with an alternative plan and they found a way of wiring it and placing it on the steps of the church. But in my mind, there was no better place for that candle because by divine coincidence that was in that very spot where the candle now stands the light of christ where in christmas last year a remarkable thing happened this time last year there was a young irish comedian called francis cronin who was walking from galway to dublin the week before christmas in terrible awful wintry rainy cold weather. He walked every day and each time he arrived he did a stand-up gig and then slept rough that night. And the whole thing was to raise awareness about the plight of homeless people here in Ireland and to raise money to do something about it in support of the Simon community. Those of us who saw Francis lying down at the end of a very long day's walking in the cold after a gig, lying down on the steps of St John's Church, an exposed place at the best of times, lying down in a wintry gale, icy cold wind and rain, and nothing more than a sleeping bag. Those of us who saw that will never forget the experience. Even before he lay down, Francis was weak and exhausted and yet he chose to spend the night there in the cold, made himself about as vulnerable as you could imagine, because it was only by being vulnerable that he could show his concern, his compassion for the most vulnerable people in our society. And I've said to Francis many times, I think what he did there was quite remarkable. He stabled Christmas message for us on the steps of our church.
church. He reminded us that Christmas is all about God choosing to reach out to us in our humanity by making himself entirely vulnerable in the birth of his son. Son, not born in a palace, not born in a five-star hotel, but born in a manger in a stable to parents who were frightened and a long way from their loved ones and far from home and who soon would have to become refugees and flee for their lives. Jesus, who would grow up to spend his life with the most vulnerable people in his society. Jesus, who would go on to die in utter vulnerability on the cross. All of that to symbolise for us in that one simple act of kindness. And there, in that spot now, the light of Christ has sprung up in this perpetual Christmas decoration we'll have every year to remember the Christmas story and remember the significance of that particular place. And so the card I sent out was, May the light of Christ shine in your hearts this Christmas. Isn't it an extraordinary coincidence that all of that has come together this year, Christmas 2020, when the pandemic has made us all so aware of our vulnerability. And even as we were getting ready to celebrate Christmas, even that became clear that we couldn't celebrate Christmas in our homes and in our churches and in the ways that we had wanted to do. And yet, no matter how dark things get, no matter how difficult they are, it's in that darkness, in that place of vulnerability, that we discover the light of Christ. Because it's there, it's in this place where we are right now in Christmas 2020 where we discover the Christ child stabled in a manger, vulnerable with us and for us as a choice, as an expression of the purest love. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not extinguish it. May the light of Christ shine in your hearts this Christmas and always. Amen. In peace and trusting in the light of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Father, on this holy day, Christians the world over celebrate Christ's in these anxious times, open our hearts that he may be born in us today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. On this day there was no room for your Son in the inn. Protect with your love those who are far from home, those who are isolating, those who are separated from their loved ones this Christmas. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. On this holy day, your Christ came as a light shining in the darkness, dispel our fear and anxiety, and bring comfort to all who suffer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. On this holy day, the angels sang peace to God's people on earth, strengthen those who work for peace and justice in all the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. On this holy day, shepherds in the field heard good tidings of joy. Even when our church buildings are closed in the weeks ahead, give us grace wherever we are to witness to the good news of Jesus' birth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. On this holy day, strangers found the Holy Family and saw the baby lying in a manger. Bless our homes and bless all whom we love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. On this holy day, heaven has come down to earth and earth is raised to heaven. Hold in your hand all who have passed 
through death in the hope of your coming kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, on this holy day, angels and shepherds worshipped at the manger throne, received the worship we offer in fellowship with Mary, Joseph and the saints, through him who is your word made flesh, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. We gather these and all our prayers together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Before our final blessing, may I take this opportunity to wish you and all your loved ones a very happy Christmas. I also want to thank everybody who worked so hard to prepare our Christmas services. We're so sorry that they're not able to go ahead. We understand the disappointment so many people feel. We pray just that you will remain safe, that you will stay safe and well this Christmas time. Today I have uploaded uh, a video to, on the parish YouTube channel uh, called the Ockram Advent Calendar. It's a, a collation of all of the daily prayer postcards we've been following throughout the whole season of Advent and uh, uh, to, to bring all of that together. It's available for you now to view. There'll also be a family service published online this weekend for the first Sunday of Christmas. I'm going to be publishing daily prayer postcards, a new series starting on Christmas Day called 12 Days of Christmas in Ockram. If you're on the parish mailing list, I'll email them to, to you and let me know your details if you'd like to be added to that list. When we uh, learned that the churches were going to close again from this week, uh, I have resumed my own commitment to run five kilometres each day to pray for the parish. I hope that that's a way of us staying spiritually connected throughout the weeks ahead until such a time as it's safe for our churches to open again. And I'm going to send prayer postcards to you each day uh, to help you on your own prayer journeys. We've learned through these lockdowns how important it is to keep well by taking time for a prayer journey each day to look after your mental and physical and spiritual health. I encourage you to keep that up once you've had time to digest your turkey. Now let's ask for God's blessing on us all. May the Father, who has loved the Eternal Son from before the foundation of the world, shed that love upon you, his children. May Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, fill you with joy and peace. May God, the Holy Spirit, by whose overshadowing Mary became the God-bearer, give you grace to carry the good news of Christ. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be upon you and all for whom you pray this Christmas time and always. Amen. We go in peace to proclaim the Word made flesh. Glory, thanks and praise to God.